This is For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway, published in 1941, um, and about the Spanish Civil War. Uh, it's considered by some to be uh, Hemingway's masterpiece, and he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature 20 years later in 1961. I thought I'd read this when I was about 17, but uh, when I came to it again a couple of years ago with my reading group, I realised I'd probably only read the first chapter and uh, misremembered having read the whole lot. It's, it, it's about a group of partisans who are living in the woods in a cave and trying to resist the uh, progress of the fascists in the Spanish, Spanish Civil War. The main character is an American, Robert Jordan. He's a bit of an action hero, which kind of uh, uh, corresponds to a lot of uh, Hemingway's writing. Um, he's a dynamiter by trade, uh, who, who was actually a lecturer, and he was on a visit to Madrid, and he's got sucked up into this conflict. Um, it, it, it's never quite made clear how strong his motive, why he is so strongly motivated to be to risk his life. Um, he, he doesn't express many or any political convictions, and yet here he is uh, determined to help this group of people and to blow up a bridge to, to, halt, the, to halt the advance. Um, Hemingway's famous for his kind of short, sparse prose, and I didn't find it in evidence in this book. Um, it, it's quite lyrical. Uh, it, it's not at all what I was expecting in terms of everything I've read about Hemingway's style. I've not read any other books by Hemingway yet. Um, there's a fabulous sense of place. Most of the novel, 490 pages of it, takes place in a cave in the woods. And the atmosphere in the cave and just outside the cave, it is beautifully evoked, the smells, the light, um, the, the, the noises, or, or, the, or the silences when they're under uh, uh, in danger of being discovered. There's a love interest. Um, and I thought some of that was handled quite well and the sex scenes were handled quite well, but others in my reading group didn't agree with me on that. Um, Hemingway has been in my mind uh, recently, be mainly because of a um, an excellent uh, BBC4 uh, series uh, on his life and works, and it really uh, rekindled my interest and, and certainly uh, made me want to, to read more. Uh, also, I read a book called Mrs Hemingway by Naomi Wood with my reading group a couple of years ago and I thought that was excellent and I'm going to do a post about that on, on this channel at some time. But this book was a disappointment to me. Uh, it's reckoned to be his greatest novel. I couldn't see it. I, I couldn't see it. I wonder whether it's a book of its time and, and I wonder, I really do wonder how it stands up now in other people's eyes. Um... So I'm glad I've read it and I feel I know a bit more about Hemingway and his work um, and I'm curious to know even more. But I just wonder whether he's a writer for our times anymore. I don't know.